Hey, what's going on folks? It's Creative Duelist here, representing Team FDK, and I've been making decks creative since 2016. Welcome folks. I'd like to say, I hope everyone is safe. I know the coronavirus is spreading around um, different continents and countries. I just hope everyone is safe. Please stay indoors and try not to get sick, of course. Luckily, I'm doing okay. I haven't got the coronavirus. So if I do cough, don't be like, oh, Creative Duelist. Uh, you know, he's got the coronavirus, no. Anyway, before I get started with the debt profile, I want to say a few announcements. We are sponsored, so please check out the links in the description. If you want to support us on PayPal, you're more than welcome to do so. All the funds go back into our channel, not into our pockets. We also are sponsored by Inked Gaming. They sell a plethora, they sell a plethora, plethora of items. So if you folks would like to check out Inked Gaming and purchase anything through there, um, we have a promo code, TeamFDK10. To get you 10% off anything you purchase through Inked Gaming, please take advantage of that little promo code. And of course, we have a Facebook group if you folks would like to join on. So please check out those links in the description. Today, I have my updated Zodiac Time Thief debt profile. I was going to do this on my channel, but with the whole ban list thing, and plus I did I profile Burning Abyss, it's not necessarily outdated. I'm just, I'm only playing one part of Avarice in the build because Avarice was only at one at the time. But, Jesus, huge changes. Not particularly happy with the ban list. In my opinion, I think it's absolute garbage, but that's besides the point. I'm here to give you my updated build to kind of still give you folks a rough idea on what you can play. And obviously get some ideas and, of course, any, uh, any suggestions on my build or any card choices and such. You're welcome to leave in the comic section. So let's begin, folks. So starting off with the monster lineup for my Time Thief engine, I've got the triple Time Thief Regulator, pretty standard. Everyone knows what Regulator does. Helps you get the two uh, Time Thief monsters out to get you uh, to get the redo on the field. Triple Time Thief Winder, standard. He helps you search for your Time Thief spells and traps. And he's a free special summon. I love his summon effect. Being able to, get to simply detach material helps you make and extend and helps you make more XYZ monsters. Then we got Triple Time Thief Beazle Ship. This card is so good too, especially in Grave. If it's in Grave, you can detach material from an XYZ monster you control and then special summon Beazle Ship directly from the graveyard. And you can just use him as an XYZ material, which is really good. Combo extending effects. And then for last monster for the time thieves, I play one uh, <coughs> uh, Chrono, Chrono Corder. Not the best one. I figured one is just enough. It's never really proved useful to me in certain situations. That's why I only just play one. I was I was tempted to just you know run two, but one is just the way to go. Because I always end up making at least these two. These more these two are more resourceful than this one. So that's going to round up the Time Thief engine. Okay, onto the Zodiacs. Got the Triple Thorough Blade, standard. Helps you um, dump a Zodiac monster to the grave and net you a draw. And helps you set up. Because uh, the problem is, if you can't get a Zodiac monster in grave, you can't do your Zodiac plays. Because then you can't, you know, do the whole thing. Which kind of sucks. So Thorough Blade cleans that up. Got two whip tails, you can play three. I've got double ram ram and one raptor. In fact, I might increase the zodiac um, ratios because obviously zodiac barrage is taking a hit. It's at one now, so it hurts this deck and it, it's kind of irritated me a little bit. So that's going to round up the zodiac lineup. Okay, onto the hand traps. I play the trip, uh, sorry, the double ash blossom, double Vela, and double DD crow to round up the monster lineup, folks. Okay, for the spell lineup, got the triple fire formation tenki, standard. We need to get our zodiacs. A double pot of avarice. You can play three. I'm trying out two because there are times where I feel like pot of avarice can be counterintuitive because you can brick if you don't set up. So two is just on a safety net. This is really good for zodiacs because, you know, it's it's basically a zodiac combo but better. It's, it's faster, and you get to draw two cards. So it's like a pot of greed, essentially. Double Desires. The Lonely Zodiac Barrage. One Time Thief Startup. One Hack. 
one Foolish, one Rageki, one Monster Reborn to round up the spell lineup. Traps are fairly small. Got the double Time Thief flyback to give you your XYZ monster material, well, the Time Thief XYZ monster material. A double um, retrograde to negate and give your um, Time Thief monster material. And we do play the one Zodiac combo because it's still good. That's going to round up the whole main deck, folks. Okay, onto the extra deck. For the links, I played double uh, Mega Clops. I cut Mega Clops, Clops down to two because I realized that once you've made one, it should be wrapped for your opponent. The second one is just in case, but if you feel like there are times where you need the third copy, it's down to personal preference. But two just works perfectly for me. Plus, you can recycle it because we do have Pot of Avarice. So you're technically playing multiple multiple copies of Mega Clops. For the Zodiac XYZs, got the triple Chakonine to combo extend, triple Tygo Mortar to help you um, get the right targets in the grave. One Dryden, pretty cool. I'm happy that he's back, but it's not really game changing. <laughs> it's not really game changing. Then we got one Borbo uh, Bor to help you get the, your uh, your combo extension. One Hammer Kong for the protection, and for the Time Thieves, double Redoer, one per, uh, per, Perpetua, and one uh, Digusto Emerald to round up the whole main deck, extra deck, and the whole profile. So thank you folks for watching. If you folks enjoyed this video, please don't leave a like. Comment down below. Feedback is always nice to hear. Tell me your thoughts in the comment section. Please make sure you check out those links. If you folks would like to support us, links will be in the description, PayPal, and etc. But yes, folks. This is the Creative Duelist, representing Team FDK, signing off. Peace.